Scientists continue to keep an eye on the eruption of Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island. The U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says the activity is stable, as lava from the west vent continues to supply the lake inside the summit crater. The eruption is confined to the summit, with no signs of activity migrating down rift. The vigor of the eruption appears tied to ongoing inflation and deflation cycles recorded at the summit. During times of inflation, the activity is more robust. As of February 9th, the western active portion of the lava lake was about 215 meters deep, or a little over 700 feet, with the eastern portion of the lava lake solidified at the surface. Sulfur dioxide emission rates remain elevated, with the most recent measurements at about 2,200 tons per day. Seismicity also remains elevated, but stable. Kilauea's south flank has been the site of five earthquakes of magnitude 4 greater in the past year. Following the magnitude 4.1 earthquake that jolted East Hawaii one week ago, HVO scientists wrote about the current seismicity in their weekly Volcano Watch article. HVO says these earthquakes are happening in response to abrupt motion of the detachment fault, located at the interface between Kilauea Volcano and the ocean floor, which moves to the southeast over the oceanic crust. The abrupt motion releases pressure on the south flank that is caused by magma accumulation beneath the surface. The elevated rates of motion on the fault are to be expected, following the large magnitude 6.9 earthquake that occurred in 2018 during the onset of the eruption of Kilauea on the Lower East Rift Zone. These and other Hawaii Island earthquake swarms were discussed in greater detail during a recent Volcano Awareness Month presentation. A pretty clear indicator, they're not migrating through the rift. These are really south flank sort of uh, that detachment um, faulting events. And then here, if we sort of focus and, and look at the Lower East Rift, you see it's very quiet. There's really been no mi migrating activity out there. Few micro seismic events, a couple of moderately sized events, uh, which had a handful of felt reports, but very small and very quiet. Um, and over here, you can see we have this histogram. These are weekly counts. It stayed pretty consistent until the recent activity uh, with Kilauea Summit being as quiet as it is it's really just mostly the south flank activity we're seeing over the past month. And then finally, the Pahala seismicity catches a lot of attention, including ours. Um, we're, we're focused on this area um, because the, the activity has really picked up. Uh, but the activity stays at these 25 to 40 kilometers depths. Now you see some of the shallow activity up here, uh, but it's a very separate activity. You don't really see any migrating are shallowing right under Bahala. It's really just these deep events, uh, which past studies have linked that to um, sort of deep magma uh, upwelling, uh, maybe uh, where it comes into the volcanic edifice, the, the big island where it first enters from the, the sort of upper mantle area to the crust. Um, and if you, you can read more about that at this um, Volcano Watch that was written in 2019, and we'll talk slightly more about that. But again, this act activity has been observed for decades, and it did pick up in August 2019, um, but it stayed pretty consistent since then. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, feel free to email, and, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and stay safe. Thank you.